class, this second array program is a modification of the first one. You can see that we're going to start with assignment for three elements, but in fact, we've got grades 188, grades 276, but grades 894. Raptor will fill in the missing elements, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and give them all a value of 0 by default. This is not an error. We're going to add to this a loop to show you how effectively a loop can process an array. We've got a loop with a count, a loop control variable of count with a value of 1. We're going to output the current value of the array element uh, based on the value of the index. The count is being used inside the square brackets, as you can see here. That's the key to processing an array with a loop. We're going to stop this when the count equals 8. Otherwise, we'll increment our counter, and we should be able to step through the entire array with just this one block of code through all eight elements. And incidentally, we could just as easily step through 800 elements with the same loop. All right, let's see, let's see what it looks like when we give it a run here. Uh, I'm going to uh, run it um, so you can see it go through its iterations. There's the first grade, there's the second grade, and so on. And it's going to run eight times. And there's the final value. All eight elements were processed effectively because we used a loop. Loops and arrays are made for each other.